Jackson, and it is February 29th, 2020. Um, today, I wanted to talk about um, self-respect and gossip. How gossip can cause us to lose our self-respect. Um, I was watching the Jada Pinkett Snoop interview this morning. And um, it was just like a lot of things that they covered that I felt like it all boils down to self-respect. Um, and so if you guys don't know the story, go over there, watch it. It was about the beef that almost started um, between Snoop and Snoop and Gail King. I think that's her last name. Um, but everybody knows her as... Uh, Oprah's best friend. And so, we all experience gossip. We all experience, um, like, our self-esteem lower when we feed into the gossip. If it's, like, negative gossip about us, we feed into it. Even, no matter how much we try to fight the thoughts that um, there's truth in what people are saying, we are human. We are vulnerable. And so... I feel like in that vulnerability, when we hear bad gossip about us, we cause ourselves to um, doubt ourselves. We cause ourselves to believe the negative um, things that are said about ourselves um, from other people. And we start to act like that. Eminem said it um, in one of his raps, uh, rap songs. He's a, I am what you say I am. Um, something along those lines that... If you say I'm that, then I'm that to you because I can't. Or for me, he was trying to say, I can't change how you view me. And so I think if you're going through that, if you're going through like heartache and pain because people are talking about you and you're starting to lose your self-respect, the best way, aside from what I always say, Go to prayer. Go to God. Um, the best way to get through that is um, surround yourself with the right people. Surround yourself with the right people that will boost your um, your self esteem and boost your self worth, and also um, remind you of your strengths. Like there's not one motivational speaker or influencer that's out right now that I have followed that constantly try to drill in all of us that we need to protect ourselves from toxic people and we need to protect ourselves from um, getting a heart broken. I was looking at one and I'm going to post it because I love it. Um, it says, I'm not going to break your heart. Um, Hi, Kara. Um, I'm not going to break your heart, but I'm going to because you only have one heart, but I am going to break your bones because you have like either it said 100 and something bones or 100 or 201 bones. I can't remember. I should know this. But anyways, um, and so that's what I'm saying, guys, is that if you're surrounding yourself around people that are lowering your self-esteem and self-worth, then it's you need to let go of those people. And if it's strangers that are talking about you and they don't even know you from Adam, why are you even reading or listening to whoever is delivering you that message and saying, oh, so-and-so said this about you and um, you might want to confront them or so-and-so said this about you. It's like another meme that's out. Like, why are they so comfortable in saying it to you? Like, why are people gossiping about me to you? And so you got to protect yourself. So the takeaway today, protect your heart, protect your peace. Make sure you know who you're around. Um, what they're always saying, like like what um, Nipsey used to say and in his music is the circle got smaller. Not everybody can go. And I'm not trying to be cheesy about that. I legit believe that. Like there are people that are in your life right now, that have been there for years, 10 years plus, and they may not have um, the purest of intent 
and protection for you and your heart than somebody that you met yesterday. So know your self-worth is worth protecting, but also know that um, when people gossip, let them gossip. Let them gossip because it's only as true as you let it be. So don't let bad gossip and even good gossip get to your head or your heart. Like Protect yourself. And so that's my leap year, my leap year counsel for today. I love you guys and I hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. And um, we will talk to you again.